Welcome. In this uh, pre-recorded lecture, we're going to talk about compound optical systems made up of two lenses. So first of all, um, let's set up our system. Here are two lenses with a common optical axis. Lens 1 has a primary focal point f1, and lens 2 has a primary focal point f2. And the distance between the two lenses, also called the barrel length, uh, is uh, a certain distance b. All right, so we place an object in front of the two lens combination, and eventually an image will be formed by the two lenses of this object. The first thing that's going to happen is that um, the first lens is going to generate an intermediate image, and we can find that by conventional ray tracing like this. And now this intermediate image is going to be an object for the second lens. So we can then construct the image formed by the second lens, which is the final image formed by the entire system, again using conventional ray tracing thus. Okay, so um, in this case, we can see that the final image is upright, and we can see that it's enlarged, and if we had drawn this diagram to scale, then uh, we might make some quantitative uh, observations about the final image as well. But it's better to do it analytically, and the way to do that is, as you might expect, to apply the thin lens equation successively first to the first lens and then to the second lens. So let's do that. We begin by um, writing down the different variables that are involved. The object distance from the actual object to the first lens we're going to call S, but the image distance for the intermediate image we're going to call S prime 1 because it's formed by lens 1. Now this intermediate image is going to be an object for the second lens, so we can measure the object distance from the second lens as S2. And finally, the image distance from the second lens, we'll call it just S prime, because this is also the image distance for the entire system. All right, so let's begin with the first lens, and the thin lens equation tells us what S1 prime is, given uh, our knowledge of S and the focal length F1 of the first lens. So this gives us S1 prime, the um, location of the intermediate image. Now, before we apply the thin lens equation to lens 2, we need to find the object distance S2. And from the diagram, it's clear that S2 is going to be the difference between the barrel length B and the S1 prime that we have just calculated. So once we got S1 prime from the first equation, we plug that into the equation for S2, and that gives us S2. Now we're ready to uh, look at the thin lens equation for lens number 2, which looks like this, 1 over S2, S2 being the object distance, plus 1 over S prime, this is the final image distance, is 1 over F2. And having previously found S2, we plug this into this thin lens equation, and this finally tells us what S prime is. So now we have found the image distance for the entire system. If we wanted to know the lateral magnification for the entire system, well, again, we have to do the same thing. We have to find separately the magnification of the first lens, and that is, by definition, the height of the first image, the intermediate image, divided by the height of the object. And that is calculated as minus S1 prime over S. And we have all this information. The second lens has a magnification which, again, by definition, is Y prime, the height of the final image, divided by the height of the object for the second lens, which is the height of the intermediate image. So Y1 prime again and we have all the information that we need to calculate that um, by the um, definition of magnification this is equal to the negative of s prime the final image to the s2 the object distance and we have 
um, a way of calculating that. So finally, the total magnification is the height of the final image divided by the height of the original object, so y prime divided by y. And you get this, as you can easily see from the equations on this page, you get this by multiplying the magnification of lens 1 and lens 2. All right, so let's do an example of all of this. And uh, once again, I'm going to uh, pose the problem and then invite you to pause the recording, work through the problem yourself, and then uh, come back, resume the video, and check your answers. So here's the um, system that uh, I invite you to consider. It's actually a, a simple version of a telephoto lens in a camera. And this particular camera telephoto lens consists of two thin lenses. The objective lens, so that would be lens 1 in our diagram, has a certain focal length f1 which is plus 40.9 centimeters. So the objective lens is a converging lens. And then precisely 36.7 centimeters behind this lens is a diverging lens, so its focal length f2 is negative, and that is minus 14.9 centimeters. The object to be photographed is 3.96 meters in front of the objective lens, lens 1. So in part A, I'm asking you how far behind the diverging lens, or lens 2, how far behind lens 2 should the film be placed? And in part B, what is the lateral magnification of this two lens combination? All right, pause the video here, do your calculations, and then come back and see if we've got the same values. Okay, so let's look at part A first of all, and it's asking how far from the second lens should the film be placed. In other words, we're looking for the image distance S prime for the second lens. So we have to do the whole process of calculating first where the intermediate image is, S1 prime, and we calculate that from the first lens, uh, thin lens equation, and it comes out to be 0 0.456 meters. And then we subtract this value from the barrel length to get minus 0 0.089 meters. Now, there's something interesting about this fact that S2 is negative. And it may seem a little bit strange that an object distance should be negative. But remember, this is not a real physical object. This is not a material object that we're placing in front of lens 2. This is simply the image formed by lens 1 which now becomes an object for lens 2. So all this means, in the case that uh, S2 is negative, is that the intermediate image is actually formed not between the two lenses, but it's actually formed behind the second lens. So the final step is to get S prime, the image distance from the second lens. And again, we use the thin lens equation to find that, and the final answer is 0 0.221 meters, and that is the answer to part A of this problem. So, notice that the film therefore has to be placed a full 22.1 centimeters behind the diverging lens, which means that the entire telephoto lens has to be at least this long. So that's a pretty long lens, but then telephoto lenses are long. For part B, we want the total magnification, and so we need to multiply the magnifications for each lens, and we, um, we get a value of minus 0 0.115 for lens number 1, so the image, the intermediate image formed by lens 1, is actually inverted, and lens 2 has um, a magnification of plus 2.48, so the image there is um, upright. So the total magnification is a product of these two values, which is minus 0 0.285. So the minus sign tells us, as usual, that the final image is inverted with respect to the object, and the fact that the magnification is less than 1 tells us that the final image is actually smaller than the original object. Okay, uh, with the solution of this problem, this brings us to the end of this brief lecture on compound optical systems.